right, everyone. Uh, you're welcome to our tutorial class today. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to be guiding us on how we can draw a chemical compounds, uh, synthesized products, identified compounds, all right, for um, some computational studies, um, such as molecular docking. Yeah. As a computational biologist before now, I have found myself into some kinds of um, challenges, all right, trying to assess uh, some compounds, all right, online for uh, my molecular docking, especially. Yes, and these uh, challenges usually arise when you have a unique compound or a new compound identified that have not been yet uploaded to the chemical databases such as popkin and all that of course most uh, people or most uh, researchers will quickly go to the popkin database to assess their compounds however there are cases where you will get to the popkin and you discover the the chemical compound you're looking for might not be there especially in their 3d format all right so i've been in such shoes before and this case uh, issue also arises when you have a synthesized product, a compound you 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 eat, you need newly synthesized. All right, you simply carried out um, your NMR studies and all that. You produce, you synthesize the product. You carried out every other uh, structural elucidation and all that, and then you identify the name. But you are yet to draw it or you're yet to convert it to the normal structure or format for your molecular docking, this tool as well can help you achieve that. So quickly in this video, I'm going to be showing us how you can draw your compound, any compound at all, uh, be it synthesized products, newly identified compounds, all right, and also how you can convert such compounds to you know your working format especially in computational biology such as the pdb format maybe you want to interact that with a particular target or protein for a therapeutic uh, you know investigation or every form of uh, any form of research uh, study or and all that so this particular tool will help you to you know get that drawn and convert it as well to any format of your choice and we'll quickly do that um, while you follow us up and remember, um, if you don't have this particular software, this is Game Drop Professional. If you don't have this software, um, you can get this from us uh, free of charge. Yes, by simply uh, commenting on our, on our comment section of this particular video. But make sure you are a, sub a subscriber, all right, to the channel in order to access this. And also, um, an introduction into this software has been done. All right, in our previous video, so do well to quickly visit that um, in case you have any confusion uh, whatsoever. All right, so quickly, um, we're going to go through the processes involved and you will see how that is done or performed. So quickly, I want to draw a structure. All right, I, I, I you know, I identified, I want to draw the structure here and then uh, also convert the structure to uh, a PDB protein data bank format that I will be working with for my molecular docking study. So what do I do? I quickly go to structure because I might not have the time, the strength to start drawing these compounds one after the other using these options here. I've already discussed this in a previous video on introduction to ChemDraw Professional. So you can quickly go there and see uh, that before you come over here. So I'll quickly go to structure. I'll go to my convert name to structure and I'll type the name assuming uh, the name I want to look for is um, all right let's let's still use quercetin as many people know this compound all right okay this should be a Q and remember if you didn't get the name correctly here uh, this particular tool will not understand what you want to type so you make sure you have the correct name uh, for what you want to draw so by highlighting this option down here, it means this name will certainly be based under the structure when it's drawn. So by clicking OK, the structure will automatically be drawn. All right, this is the automatic um, diagram of this particular structure. 
So as you can see, um, I don't take all the time to start drawing these compounds or these bonds one after the other, which are quite time consuming and all that. So you can save all that by simply using the structure button or menu. All right, so I have, I have the compound drawn here, I have quercetin drawn here, but this is a 2D form of this particular compound. So how do I get it um, converted to a 3D all right, form of the compound? But before we go into that, there are some cases where um, the name, the common name, like this quercetin is a common name. It has an oil pack nomenclature, it has an oil pack name, all right, or a chemical name. So this is just a common name. Sometimes the common name for a particular compound might not be very universal, all right, so that these two might not understand what that common name means. So what do you do? You simply take same common name and go and Google the IOPAC name. Every uh, chemical compound has what? An IOPAC name, all right? So what do I do? I'll quickly go to my browser and then I'll search... Um, Let's say quercetin, IOPAC name of quercetin. All right. This is what I have. The IOPAC name of quercetin, I want to get that generated. Okay, so this is quercetin. So I will open it up to see the IOPAC name of that. All right. Okay, so that is... Um, loading to get the IOPAC name for me. Um, so make sure you have a good internet uh, connection to have this go very free. So this is what I have. All right, so I'm looking for the IOPAC name. All right, so if I come down to names, all right, just scroll down. Or if you look by this left side, you'll see a table of content that can guide you. So I'm looking for the name, all right, or identifier. So I'll just click on this second one and it will bring me down here. So this is the IOPAC name of this compound. Look at it here. So I'll simply copy this IOPAC name. I'll copy that. And then I'll go to my came draw, all right? Let me delete all this. And now draw it using the IOPAC name. So you can see that whichever method you use, that will still give you. So I will paste this here. And I'll say, ask it to draw. Of course, you can see it has drawn it. All right. This is the name which it has drawn. All right. So this is the name of the compound. This is same as what as quercetin. You can see that drawn here. So whichever uh, way you go about it, you will certainly what get it drawn. So don't get frustrated when you type in the name or the common name and then uh, these two couldn't observe that or couldn't understand that. Simply take the same name, go and browse that online, all right, and get the IOPAC name of that. There are many, you know, names. You can see this is the IOPAC name here. If you don't want to go through the first option, which is the uh, pop game option, you can simply scroll down as well and just copy this name here and then search on there and you get that um, drawn for you. So this is what we have. All right, now we have this. How do we convert? This is in 2D, like I told you. And for instance, if you're performing molecular docking, you can't dock with a 2D. So what do you do? You have to convert it to what? 3D. This is very, very important. And not just convert it to 3D. You have to save it or uh, have the file format as a protein data bank. So it can be in the same format as your target of protein for your molecular docking studies. All right, so this is what I have. So what do I do next to convert this, all right, from 2D to 3D? I need another uh, software or another extension of this game draw suite, which we call the Chem 3D, all right? The name is what? Chem 3D. So I'll quickly come to my search button and then I'll search Chem 3D, all right? Of course, this is the app here. So I'll click on the app and you can see that load. All right, so when uh, it's done loading, this is what you have as your interface, all right, where you have the interface for the 2D, and then this is the interface for the 3D. All right, I'll go back to the ChemDraw Professional, and I'll simply copy this particular image or this particular uh, structure here. How do I copy? I'll simply double-click 
make sure your arrow is in one of these two I've, I've introduced this earlier in our earlier video this is for drawing irregular structure all right if you have irregular structure like this and all that you can use this particular uh, one but here we have a regular structure so i'll just use this so you can just highlight this way and this is the compound so what do you do you can right click uh con do ctrl c to copy or you right click and do what and copy the image or the structure and simply go to your what your kim 3d and uh do ctrl v or you right click and paste is the same uh, way or the same thing so this is what we have here. As you can see, this structure is now in 3D, while this is in 2D. So we've uh, succeeded in converting from what 2D to 3D. Then how do we now save this in a protein data bank uh, format? It's very simple. So what do I do? I will simply go to my file here, and then I'll go to my words, my save as. So I'll click on save as. Of course, I'll title this as um, query 13. All right, and then under here, just below the name, you see, uh, you can see this PDB is already a default setup here because I've used this um, several. So what do I do? If you come to the yours, or after by using yours for the first time, this option will not be here. So what do you do? You click on this arrow down, and then you can see several options here. All right, so make sure you scroll down to the word. To the protein data bank scroll down to the protein data bank hit on that and then of course find the directory where your document is going to so i'll save mine in download all right and i'll simply do what click on save and once you click on save <coughs> it has been saved so i can minimize this um and simply go to my what my download and i'll have that um already drawn for me so i'll go to my download as you can see, this is the quest team here. This is the quest team that has been drawn and then it's already in PDB format. By right clicking and going to the properties, you discover that it's already what a PDB file. As you can see, that is already what a PDB file. That's why you can see that. That's why it's open. I have a Discovery Studio, uh, uh, Bovia Discovery Studio for default opening of my PDB file. So this is the file here. Is a PDB word file. So from this, you can go ahead to you know perform your uh, molecular docking structures. For instance, if you click or you open this particular structure using that same uh, software I mentioned, uh, which is my default opening software for you know for PDB files, you discover that particular structure is now very much ready for your molecular docking uh, studies. You can see the structure. This is the structure here. So it has been drawn and converted to a, what, a working format. So you can use this for that for any kind of uh, study and all that. So in our subsequent video, you are going to be seeing many other applications of the same tool. All right. And um, how you can make use of that as a researcher, as a computational biologist, as a bioinformatician, as a chemist or computational chemist and all that. For any inquiry as usual, like I mentioned earlier, feel free to drop in our uh, comment section if you need the software and you're a subscriber simply indicate in the comment section and this will be sent um, to you there thank you for watching uh, this particular video and see you in our next video